Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Teacher. Okay, everybody, welcome once again. Good to see you. Well, good to hear you. Bueno, oírlos porque no veo ni una cámara prendida. <laughs> Solo nombres, miro. Okay. Hi. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Baudilio. Hello, Adán. Maria Magdalena. Hi. Okay. David. Hello. <laughs> Jose Benjamin. Hello. Good hello, evening. teacher. Karen Julissa, hello. <laughs> okay. Hello. Qué, bueno, qué bueno verlos, qué bueno verlos a todos. <laughs> okay. All right, just a moment, please. Uh, aquí está. Okay. Comienzo a compartir pantalla con ustedes. Okay, there it is. And I'm going to call your names on the attendance list. So, okay, Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Adán Iglesias. Arles Ernesto López. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Present teacher. I am here. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Santos. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. David Antonio Rosales García. Present teacher. Thank you. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez, Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda, Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda, Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía, Presente, Thank you. Ever Francis Alvallero, Ever Francis Alvallero, Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Ebert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Ebert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. Jose Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Valentín Rivera López. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Presente, teacher. Thank you. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I am Good here. Good evening. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hello. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. 
Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Paso lista de nuevo. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Ya vi que ya se conectó Carlos Edgardo. Le vamos a poner asistencia. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Presente. Thank you. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Presente, ya parecí, licenciado. Ok, welcome. Ebert Aristides Oye Ruiz. Ebert Aristides Oye Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Ok, thank you. José Amil Carreyes Cruz. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hello. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Oscar Susaña Castellano. Oscar Susaña, Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez, Salvador Hernández, Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias, Wilber Rafael. Ok, let's begin. Aquí el chat dice Carlos Edgardo, presente ya, ya le tomamos su asistencia. Ok. Santo Mauricio, presente, presente. Santo Mauricio, ya le tomé su asistencia también. Gracias. Ok, let's begin. Everybody, take a look. This is Inglés Principiante, módulo 3, and this is me, Iván Doñán, at your service. Once again, this is session number three, and uh, today is June 21st of 2023. So what are we going to do? Well, snapshot, a review. Uh, holidays in the U.S. You have New Year's Day, which is January 1st. There's Valentine's Day, which is February 14th. Independence Day in the United States is on July the 4th. In El Salvador, it's on September the 15th. Um, Halloween is on October 31st. Uh, Thanksgiving is on the 4th Thursday of November. Okay, the day after that, we have uh, the Black Friday. And then there's Christmas, which is on December the 25th. Okay, I have a question, una pregunta. Uh, what holidays do we celebrate in El Salvador? For example, when is Mother's Day? Raise your hand if you can tell me. When is Mother's Day? Cecia. Mayo 10th. Mayo, that's Spanish. May 10th. Ah, May 10th. Okay, yeah, that's May 10th. Thank you, Cecia. When is Father's Day? Um, June uh, 17th. June the 17th. Okay, thank you, Cecia. Okay, very good. When is Teacher's Day? If you know, raise, raise, no, I, need, I need more people, more people. <laughs> but thank you. Okay, Maria Magdalena, when is Teacher's Day? June 22nd, my birthday. It's your birthday on June 22nd. That's tomorrow. Okay. That's yeah. your birthday. It's it's my day because I'm a teacher and it's also my wedding anniversary. Okay. Tomorrow. So I'm going to celebrate. <laughs> okay. Nice. Congratulations, teacher. Um, I'm sorry? Congratulations. Ah, th thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias ya está conectado. Nos comenta por acá. Bienvenido. 
ya le tomamos su asistencia. Ok, um, another day, let me think, when is, I can't think of any other day in El Salvador. When is um, Columbus Day? <laughs> when is Columbus Day? Columbus Day is what we know as Dia de la Raza. So what's Columbus Day? If you know, raise your hand. Okay, well, Cecia wants to participate, but I want more people to participate. Okay, Baudilio, thank you, Cecia. Thank you very much. Baudilio, when is Columbus Day? Uh, 12 October. Uh-huh. October 12th. October 12th. Okay, that's correct. It's October the 12th. Very good. Thank you, Baudilio. When is Labor's Day? When is Labor's Day? Do you know the meaning of Labor's Day? Dia del Trabajo. That's Labor's Day. When's Labor's Day? Raise your hand if you if you know the answer. Maria de Lourdes. When's Labor's Day? May 1st in May, El Salvador. In El Salvador, it's on May 1st. Okay, that's correct. It's on May 1st. Okay, very good. All right, everybody, let's continue. Okay, so um, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formular y responder preguntas interrogativas, es decir, preguntas abiertas, WH usando Be Going To. Adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo este tema es utilizado en un escenario de la vida real. That's uh, lesson objective 1.9. So there's the conversation. Have a good Valentine's Day. Que tengas un buen día de San Valentín. Have a good, have a good Valentine's Day. So you have it right here. Valentine's Day is on February the 14th. So listen and practice. Well, I don't have the audio track, so I need two volunteers to read this. One, one lady to play Mona and one uh, gentleman to play Tyler, please. Two volunteers to read, please. Voluntario, que me ayuden acá a leer. No volunteers. Okay. So, uh, okay, Cecia, thank you very much. And uh, who can help Cecia read? Evan Enrique, okay. So, uh, Cecia, you play the Sorry, part teacher. of- Sorry, teacher. Yes? Mona. Okay, yeah. Sorry, teacher. Manifiel no. Enrique, en Enrique, Perez Enrique Lemus, que tiene problemas de conexión. Ah, que le okay. Usted. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias por avisarme. Okay, um, okay, Cecia, yeah, you play uh, the part of Mana, and Evan Enrique, you play the part of Tyler. Please. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. For dinner. For dinner. Hmm? Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas is her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a... Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. You too. All right, thank you. So uh, Mana says, so Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? And Tyler says, yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Hmm. Mana says, oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas, Tyler says, Lagunas is the name of the restaurant. It's her favorite restaurant. Mana says, oh, she's going to like that. This is a prediction, okay? Tyler says, how about you? What are you going to do? Mana says, well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. Tyler says, sounds like fun. 
Suena divertido. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. And Mana says, thanks. You too. So that's the conversation. If you notice here, there are many questions using going to. For example, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? What kind of question is this? Is this a yes, no question or an information question? What kind of question is that? Yes, no question or information question? Okay, Cecia. Information question. Are you sure? Yes. Are, you, Are sure? you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? De las dos, puede ser las dos. No, only one. Yes, no question. It's a yes, no question. Así es. Si comienza directamente con el verb be o con un auxiliar, es una yes, no question. En este caso, Tyler. Are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? The answer is yes or no. Okay, and Tyler says, yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Now, let's take a look at the next question. Give me a moment. Okay, um, Mona says, oh really, where are you going to go? What kind of question is this? Is this an information question or a yes, no question? Maria Magdalena. Is information question. This is an information question. That is correct. Okay, now this is an information question. How do you know? Because of the word where. If the question begins with a WH uh, word, then it's an information question. Si la pregunta, independientemente del tiempo de verbo que esté utilizando o la estructura gramatical que esté utilizando, comienza con una WH word, o sea, where, when, how, why, which, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it's an information question, WH question. So where are you going to go? It says Lagunas, okay? That's the name of the restaurant. It's a favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? Now you have the next one. What are you going to do? Another information question because it begins with what? They want to know. Well, I am not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance, okay? That's the thing. Grammar focus, w, WH questions with be going to. So you have, what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? You say, I'm going to go to a dance. I am not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Lagunas. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? Como va a ir? How are you going to get there? You say, we're going to drive. Vamos a manejar. We're not going to take the bus. No vamos a tomar el bus. Pero... Who is going to be there? My friends are going to be there. Mis amigos van a estar ahí. My sister isn't going to be there. Mi hermana no va a estar ahí. So that's the idea. So uh, what we're going to do right now is the knowledge check 1.11. So what is that? In the uh, web page, you have the instructions, complete the conversations with the correct form of be going to follow the example. And basically we have it right here. Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, you have an example. How are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. You have visit. So conversation one, you have, who are you, blah, 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 invite to Thanksgiving dinner? What's the question? Si me pueden leer toda la pregunta, sería mucho mejor. I need a volunteer, please. Insisto, no tengan miedo ni, ni vergüenza de participar, ¿verdad? Ni pereza de participar, porque puede ser eso también. Ya hasta ahora ya uno no quiere... Solo piensa en la cena. <laughs> okay, so we have a chat entry right here. Enrique Pérez ya está por acá. Le vamos a tomar su asistencia. Thank you. Ahí... Para que estoy. Okay, great. Welcome. Me vale, me vale eh, como dicen, ¿verdad? Tarde ah, que nunca. Así es. Ah, por cierto, en inglés eso existe también. Se lo voy a enseñar. Better late than never. Así se dice en inglés. Okay. Okay, thank you. 
No, pero eh, para estas clases es súper bien. Es decir, aunque usted ya, digamos, no entra a tiempo, igual entre lo más pronto que pueda porque eh, Zoom le cuenta cada minuto que está conectado y eso acumulado hace su asistencia al final. Gracias, Fisher. Uh -huh. Ok, so what about the first one? Adán Iglesias, please. Who are you going to in invite? Invite. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? To okay. Thanksgiving. Okay, dinner. So again, right, the pronunciation is who, right? This is always who. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Thank you, Adan. Very good. We have another chat entry. Erika Beatriz Guillén ya se conectó. Okay, le vamos a tomar asistencia. Thank you very much. Okay, the second one, please. Well, this is number one. Okay, but está invertido. Parece B primero y luego la. Okay, uh, David Antonio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I am going to ask my family and some good friends. Very good. I am going to ask my family and some good friends. Okay, great. Thank you, David. All right. Conversation two. Okay, what are you blah, 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 do for Halloween? Volunteer, please raise your hand if you know. Mm -hmm. Volunteer, please. Vamos. Vamos, compañeros, ustedes pueden. Anímense. Salgan de la zona de confort. Que sea una zona de confort, por cierto. ¿Verdad? Salgan, anímense, salir de la zona de confort y participen, hablen, desarrollen esa capacidad. Ajá. What do we have? Raise your hand. Mauro Orlando. What are you going to do for Halloween? Okay, again, what are you going to do uh -huh. for Halloween? What are you going to do for Halloween? Okay, very good. Thank you, Mauro Orlando. Great. What are you going to do for Halloween? And the response, volunteer, please. Vamos, compañeros. Vamos, vamos. Adán Iglesias. Okay, Adán. What are you going to do for Halloween? I don't know. I not going to do. I am not going to do anything special. Okay, good. I am not going to do anything special. Very good. Thank you, Adan. Okay, conversation three. What about conversation three? Raise your hand if you know, please. Mm -hmm. Quizá muy pequeño se mira, no mira, por eso no se anima a participar. Ahí está, mire. <laughs> Por eso no participa, porque no andan los lentes. María de Lourdes. Ajá. How, how are your parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? Correct. How are your parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? Very good. José Amilcar Reyes ya está por acá, nos dice. José Amilcar, ya le ponemos presente. Thank you. Um, yes, thank you. Uh, Jose Benjamin, now, letter B. Jose Benjamin. They are uh, they're going to go to their nice party. They're going to go to their neighbor's party. Okay, yeah, they are going to go to their neighbor's party. Correct. 
Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your participation. Okay. Uh, and number four, this is the last one. Okay. Um, I'm going to zoom in. Okay. I need a volunteer. Number four, A. David Antonio and then Maria Magdalena. What is your sister going to do for her birthday? What is your sister going to do for her birthday? Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. What is your sister going to do for her birthday? Okay, great. Thank you, David. Maria Magdalena, letter B, please. Her boyfriend going to ah, her, her boyfriend uh -huh. going to I go falta ahí. her boyfriend friends um, going to thanks the verb B is missing her boyfriend is aha uh -huh, is going to going to take her her no me lo quite teacher lo que pasa es que no puedo poner la respuesta si si está así cerquita no no anima ah, es okay. decir no aparecen las animaciones por eso es que tengo que hacerlo de vuelta tamaño normal okay. para que aparezca take la siguiente animación <laughs> Her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. Okay. Yes, her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. Bueno, y si se puede hacer, no lo he descubierto aún, pero voy a investigar. A lo mejor hay algo que no sé. So her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. That is correct. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Very good. So that's the knowledge check. Okay. Right there. Let's continue because we still uh, have some things to do. Tenemos que comenzar también la sección 2. Es más fácil que la primera. Ok, so, um, lesson objective. Ok, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Uh, chat entry, Oscar Susana, ya está por acá. Vamos a ponerle acá la asistencia. Thank you, Oscar. Ok, al final de esta clase ustedes aprenderán vocabulario para discutir cómo celebrar ocasiones especiales. That's a lesson objective. So, word power, special occasions. You have listened and practice, then check the things you do for each special occasion. So, here we have Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, and anniversary. That's me tomorrow. So, what do you do? Uh, we have uh, we have different activities right here. For example, the first one is send cars. What is the meaning of send cars? Ivan Alexis, ya está por acá. Thank you, Ivan. Okay. So, uh, what about send cars? What is what is the meaning of that? ¿Qué significa eso? Send cards. Cartas, teacher. Mm, well, a card is not carta, not exactly, but thank you, Ever Enrique. Enviar tarjetas. Enviar tarjetas. Okay, that's correct. You send cards. Okay, that's that's the thing. Send cards. Also, you uh, we're going to hurry a little bit because we don't have much time. Ever Albayero ya está por acá, no dice. Thank you, Ever. No hay problema. Uh, maneja con cuidado. So, um, you have send cards, give presents, okay, dar regalos, that's give presents. Take pictures with a camera or with a cell phone. Sing songs, okay, cantar las canciones. Dance, bailar. Eat cake, comer pastel. Have a party, okay, tener una fiesta. Have a picnic, nice. Eat special food. And wear special clothes. So uh, I'm going to need some volunteers. Okay. I'm going to need five volunteers. What do you do on, uh, bueno, la primera, verdad, sin querer herir a nadie, porque 
tal vez no todos contamos con nuestra madrecita, ¿verdad? Para algunos sí, algunos no. Pero veamos, Mother's Day. What do you do on Mother's Day? Si usted tiene la fortuna todavía de contar con su, con su mamá. ¿Cecia? No, yo no, que pase otro. Ah, ok, ok. Uh, what about Father's Day, Cecia? No, right. A uh, Father's Day. Father's Day. No, no, ok. Eh... Ok. Um, well, I need a volunteer. M Mother's Day. Ok, what do you do on Mother's Day? Y aquí me dice usted lo que hace. You can say, ah, oh, on Mother's Day, I give presents, I take pictures, we eat candy, we eat cake, I'm sorry, we have a party, etc., etc. So, Maria Magdalena, how do you celebrate Mother's Day? Mm, I am Mother's Day, give presents. You say, I give presents to my mom. I, I mm -hmm. give presents. Um, it's a special food. You eat special food. Okay. Nice. Um, eat cake. I'm sorry. Ah, you eat cake. Okay. Eat cake. Okay. I have a, um, I have a party. Have a party. Okay. Sounds great. Okay. Great. Thank you, Only Maria. That. Only that. Okay. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Paudilio. Okay. What, how do you celebrate Father's Day? Um, give a present. Okay, you say I give presents to my father. I give say. a present to my father. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I eat cake. I eat cake. Okay. And I take pictures. I take pictures. Okay, sounds good. Nice. Jose Amilcar, how do you um, celebrate uh, a graduation? Maybe your kids are graduating. In, in the graduation. Mm -hmm. um, bueno, me imagino que donde trabajan ustedes existen graduaciones también, ¿verdad? Ajá, por sí. la naturaleza del trabajo, ¿verdad? Ok, sí, how do you celebrate? Que... Pero no sí. se celebran así. <risa> no, algunas. Bueno, algunas. Okay. sería este en una graduación, digámoslo así, eh, común. Ok. Eh, Give give a present. Okay, you give presents. Take a picture. You take pictures. Okay, good. Uh, eat eat a cake cake. Eat cake. Nice. Um, eat a special food. Eat special food. Okay. Yes. Okay, that sounds good. Like a very good graduation. Okay. Alguien que esté casado. How did you celebrate your wedding? Nadie está casado. <laughs> Quiero ver quién. Aquí, alguien que diga de fulano de tal. Ok. Baudilio. Ok, Baudilio. Vamos. Baudilio es no, it, it, it bad. The marriage. No, it's not bad. It's beautiful. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. And for say, uh, digamos, para decir, uh, uh, and drink uh, beers and other, digamos, otras bebidas alcohólicas, ¿por qué puede ser? Drink beer, or, yeah, drink alcohol, drink liquor, uh, se, se okay. Mencionaría el, el ejemplo, drink whiskey, drink yes. rum. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. In English, wrong is rum. Okay. Rum. Okay, so you drink rum. Okay, so, um, okay, good question. <laughs> okay, so how do you celebrate weddings? Tell me. Karen Julissa, ahí está. Me, está. me estaba escondiendo. Ah, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. In wedding, mm -hmm. get present. Okay. What is mama? Eat special food. Eat special food. Take picture. Take pictures. Good. Get present. Get presents. Okay. All right. Good. 
Uh -huh. If you are invited to the wedding, yeah, you give presents. But if it's your wedding, you receive presents. <laughs> a little different. But yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Karen. Um, Baudilio, do you have a question? The wedding. the wedding, okay. In the wedding, uh, we pass the mon suite. Um, ah, but that's after the wedding. Okay. That's called... Yeah. Honeymoon. The luna de miel, the honeymoon. Ah, but that's after the wedding, not during the wedding. <laughs> okay. Eso es después de la boda. Pero sí, okay. Ahí sí, no más detalle de eso. Okay, so um, what about the last one? Anniversary. It's my anniversary tomorrow. So um, what about this one? What do people do on anniversaries? How do you celebrate your anniversary? If you're married. ¿Cómo celebran su aniversario si están casados? José Amílcar. O su aniversario noviazgo puede ser también. Ok. Uh, microphone. Eh, send a card. You send cards? Ok. You send a card to your wife. Eh, ok. Eh, yes. Ok. Give, give present. Ok. Nice. And... Dance. Mm, a romantic dance. Eh, yes. Okay. Uh, have a have a picnic. Okay. Wow. Eh, eat the special food. Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. Great. In my case, I, I think I'm going to um, eat special food out and give a present, mostly. <laughs> That's the plan tomorrow. Okay. So uh, there you go, you have special occasions and these are the things that you do, right? You send cards, you receive cards, give presents or receive presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food, wear special clothes, etc., etc. That's it. Uh, let's move on, because of the time, we don't have much time. So give me a moment. We're going to skip this part because because of the time. Okay, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for details and read an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. Al final de esta clase desarrollarán habilidades en la detección de los detalles de la lectura leyendo un artículo sobre las celebraciones de los cumpleaños en diferentes países. That's lesson objective 1.14. And it's the reading. What are you going to do on your birthday? Okay, so read the article. How old is each person going to be? You have Elena Buenaventura from Madrid. Okay, volunteer. I need a volunteer to read this. Voluntario para leer la primera parte. Elena Buenaventura from Madrid. Vamos, ¿quién se anima? Cecia. Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturdays, and I am going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They are going to pull on my hair 21st times. 20, 21 times. 21 they're going, times. They're going to pull on my, my ear. Ah, 21 times. 21 times. Um, for each, um, for each year, ah, oh, yes. Once for each year. Mm -hmm. Once for each year. It's an old custom. Mm -hmm. Some people pull on the air who's on. Just but once. Who's just, on? Just, just once. Just once. Mm -hmm. But my friends are very traditional. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, she says, my 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I am going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, para desearme un feliz cumpleaños, they are going to pull my ear 21 times, 21 veces, once for each year, una vez por cada año. It's an old custom, an old tradition. Some people pull on the ear just once. But my friends are very traditional. So yeah, 21 times in their case. 
Okay, that's uh, Elena Buenaventura from Madrid. What about Yang Ching Shi from Taipei in Taiwan? What about this lady right here? So Yang Ching Shi from Taipei. Karen Julissa and then Jose Amilcar will help us with Mr. and Mrs. Aoki Kyoto from Kyoto. So Karen Julissa, please. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. 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 <laughs> ceremony. Mm -hmm. I am probably going to get some money in envelopes. Envelopes from my relatives. From my relatives. My mm -hmm. relatives. <laughs> my mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles. Noodles are noodles. <laughs> noodles are for a long life. Thank you. So Yang Chi Xing from Taipei says, tomorrow is my 16th birth 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we are going to have a family ceremony. I am probably going to get, going to receive some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. What is the meaning of envelope? ¿Qué significa envelope? Envelope means sobre. So I am probably going to get some money in my lucky envelopes from my relatives. Relatives? Los parientes. My mother is going to cook noodles. Fideos. Noodles are for a long life. Okay. Yeah, this is this sounds like a Taiwanese celebration. Okay. Um, let's continue. Jose Amilcar, you're going to help me read Mr. and Mrs. Aoki from Kyoto. They're Japanese. Mr. and Mrs. But this is for a lady. This is for a lady. Okay. Um, okay. We're going to hold on. Uh, you're going to help me read Philippe Jolly from Paris. Okay. But I need a lady, please, to help me read this part. Maria Magdalena and then Jose Amilcar. Okay. Maria Magdalena, please. Mrs. and Mrs. Oki Kyoto. Mm -hmm. My husband is going to be. 70 tomorrow. 60. 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 16th birthday is called Kan. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Kan that's, that's Japanese, so I guess it's Kan Reki. Kan Reki. <laughs> kan Reki is the big, beginning. beginning of a new life. The color red. Repres represent a new life so children often give some time something sometime, something something uh -huh. yeah something read as a presence what are our children going to to give yeah prof to give him to give to give him a red Hat and best. And best. Okay. Thank you. So Mr. and Mrs. Aoki from Kyoto, she says, my husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kanreki, <coughs> the beginning <coughs> of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest, okay? Un sombrero y un chaleco rojo, right? That's a vest. So that's Mr. and Mrs. Aoki from Kyoto. Now, Jose Amilcar, please. Philip Jolie from Paris. Philip Jolie in Paris. I'm going to be 13 next week. So I'm going to invite a three. Very good friend now to dinner. In French, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some in some countries, I now it is the opposite. The opposite. The opposite. The opposite. People take you you call. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Philippe Jolly from Paris says, I'm going to be 30 next week. So I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. Voy a invitar a tres buenos amigos a cenar. Suena raro. Es su cumpleaños, pero él lo va a invitar. Okay. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. In otros países es lo contrario. La gente lo saca uno, verdad, a comer. In El Salvador, right? This is normal. Okay. It's your birthday. You don't pay. Your friends pay. Okay. But in France, if it's your birthday, you pay. Okay. That's weird. Anyway, so um, that's it. That's the article right here. And we're going to do this. Knowledge check 1.16. Read the article, then answer whether the sentence presented in each article is true or false. Vamos a aumentar un poquito el nivel de dificultad, porque esto está muy fácil. Read the article, then correct these sentences. All these sentences have incorrect information. You need to give me the sentence or you need to tell me the sentence with the correct information. Todas estas oraciones contienen información incorrecta. Usted me tiene que decir lo correcto de acuerdo al artículo. For example, to celebrate her birthday, Elena is going to pull on her friend's ears. This is not correct because in reality, to celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull on her ears. Okay? No es ella la que le va a jalar las orejas a los amigos. Son los amigos que le van a jalar la oreja a ella. So what about number two? Okay, that's an example. Now you continue. Yang Xing is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. This is not true. So what is the correct information? Si no se acuerdan, les comparto esto por WhatsApp. Okay, so Yang Qing is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. Is this correct? It is not correct. So what's the correct form? Karen Julissa. No es correcto, pero no sé cómo te lo voy a decir. <laughs> Porque ahí dice en la lectura que eh, eh, dice My mother is going to cook noodles. Ajá. No es ella la que va a cocinar. Entonces sería. <ríe> Vaya, solo tiene que cambiar ahí en vez de my. Que pues es va adjective va a utilizar. Es de ella. Es la mamá de ella. Entonces te dice. Entonces, Yang Xing. Mamá. Yang Xing. His. Is is for boys. For girls, you use? Vamos, ¿quién nos ayuda acá? Vamos. Ah, no, her. Yang Ching, her mother, going to cook some noodles on her birthday. Okay, let's take a look. You say Yang Yang Chi's mother. La madre de Yang Shi, okay. Yang Shi's mother is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. Okay, that's factual information. Okay, thank you, Karen Julissa. Um, number three, you have on his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to buy something red. Jose Amilcar. I have a question, teacher. Yes, what's your question? A question. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Por qué eh, le pone S al apellido de Yang Ching? Ah, si se acuerdan. El apóstrofo. Esto lo vimos en el nivel 1, ¿ok? Eh, para expresar la posesión o 
de quién es o a quién, con quién está directamente relacionado algo, utilizamos apostrophe S. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir um, The mother of Susana. Pero eso suena un poquito forzado en inglés. Entonces, lo mejor es decir Susana. 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 Susana's mother. Que sería Susana's la madre. De la madre de Susana. Así es. Por esa misma razón. Yang Ching's okay. mother mm -hmm, is going to cook mm -hmm. some noodles on her birthday. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. What about number three? On his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to buy something red. Mm -hmm. Ah, ¿quién se anima? ¿Será que el Mr. Aoki va a comprarse algo de color rojo? ¿O quién lo va a hacer? <laughs> Nobody wants to participate. Come on. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí, como dijo la diputada. ¿Cuál diputada? <ríe> Ajá. Ok, well, I'm going to give you the answer because nobody wants to try. José Amilcar. The microphone, José Amilcar. On this birthday, Mr. Aoki, Aokis, on this birthday, Mr. Aokis, wife is going to, bu to buy something red. No. Okay, we're getting close, but it's, it's not his wife. Not his wife. Not his wife. No, not his wife. Is the is the name the the wife? Mm -mm. No, no, no es la esposa no. la que le va a comprar ahí algo. Mm. No recuerdo el nombre. Me doy como hizo aquel. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. You yeah, have Mr. and Mrs. Aoki Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kanfreki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and a vest. So... No les puedo dar chocolates ni puntos extra por participar, pero igual se los voy a agradecer. <risa> Vamos, anímense. O sea, Milcar estaba cerca de la respuesta, solo que no era la esposa la que le va a dar algo. Entonces, ¿quién es? O sea, Milcar. The microphone, José Amirka. Eh, on, on his birthday, Miss, Mr. Aoki, Mr. Aoki's children's children is going, uh -huh. on, uh -huh. on his birthday, Mr. Aoki 
children is going to buy something red. Okay. On his birthday, Mr. Aoki's children are going to give him or buy him something red. Okay. Le van a comprar a él algo rojo. So, yeah, it's Mr. Aoki's children. Okay, thank you, Jose Amilcar. And the last one. Philippe's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. Amigos de Philippe lo van a invitar a cenar en su cumpleaños. Pero es en realidad así como va a ser o será diferente. Okay, the last one. Volunteers, please. Vamos, una no falta. O sea, Mirka, ¿ok? Microphone. Voy a seguir intentándolo. Dale. Eh, sería Phyllis, Phillips, Phillips, invite, Phillips friend invite, are going ah. to take him out to dinner on this birthday. Mm, not exactly. But, but Phillips, thank you. Uh -huh. Philip, sí, para mí que invite, invite French. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, Philip, Philips, mm -hmm. Felix, ay, 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 el conector ahí siempre, tengo problemas. No, no, no. Ok, no problem. ¿Quién ayuda acá? José Milcar. Raise your hand if you know. Karen Julisa. Vamos a intentarlo también. Ok. Philip going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. Binder. Yeah, on his birthday. So yeah, Philip is going to take or is going to invite right his friends out to dinner for his birthday. No son los amigos lo que lo van a invitar a él, sino él a los amigos, right? That's the correct information, right there. Okay, that is good. Uh, we have a chat entry here. Aparece acá un link de parte de Paola Iglesias. Link para el nuevo grupo de WhatsApp. Hay un nuevo grupo de WhatsApp. No, acá han eliminado el anterior, así que... Hay creo, que creo que es el mismo. Ajá, es el mismo, ¿verdad? No, es no, decir, no eliminado. Eh, ah, pero creo que fue del, del anterior, o sea, del nivel anterior de principiante 2. Entonces, este es el link para principiante 3, que me yo creo que es el mismo. Déjenme revisar. Ahorita les digo. Let me see. Ajá, sí. Solo es una, eh, es el mismo, ¿verdad? Que les cayó en el correo a ustedes, ¿verdad? Aquí dice, sí, es el mismo. <risa> Solo que algunos no se han agregado al grupo de principiante 3. Ok, vaya, para quienes no se han agregado aún al grupo de principiante 3, por favor, eh, dando clic a ese, a ese enlace, pueden, pueden agregarse, ¿verdad? Porque hay algunos que todavía no están. Ok, thank you. All right, per so, perdón, teacher. Dígame. Eh, me perdí ahí con lo que mencionó porque por acá ah, tuve que tener en, a una persona. Este, en, el, en el chat. Uh, es que la... veo que, ve, eh, alga, perdón, alcancé a escuchar algo del chat y vi que en el que teníamos anteriormente nos eliminó otro. Lo que pasa persona. es que se, se eliminó o digamos se disolvió el grupo de principiante 2. Sí. Entonces hay algunos compañeros que todavía no han entrado o no se han unido al grupo de principiante 3. Es correcto. Ajá, entonces ahí está, han dejado un enlace para que puedan unirse, en caso que no lo hayan hecho todavía, ¿verdad? ¿Pero dónde lo han dejado? En el chat de la reunión. 
en el chat de la reunión acá. En el chat de la reunión. Ajá. Ah, si claro. gustan, igual les puedo. Si bueno. no. Um, Ajá. No, no, no. Ya, este es, ¿verdad? HT. Bueno, chat.whatsapp.com. Uh -huh. El GQO es G -G -G -E ah, okay. ah, that, that, ah, okay. That's the one. Thank you, teacher. Uh, you're, you're welcome. Okay. And thank you, Paola. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Well, that's the end of this uh, part of the presentation. Um, everybody, I'm just going to go over the attendance control one more time. Monica Yvette. Está por acá, Monica Yvette. Nos acompaña Mónica Ivette esta noche. Mónica Ivette, Merino Rivas. Ok. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez nos acompaña. Salvador Hernández. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Teacher, perdón, perdón, Mónica, estoy presente. Ok, ok. Pero no, me había, estaba viendo lo del, del link para conectar, para, para pasarme al otro grupo. Ok, no hay problema. Ok, okay aquí le tomamos. Ok, ok, gracias. Ok, okay you're welcome. Ok, um, Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. ¿Es Wilber online tonight? Wilber Rafael, no. Ok. Ok, de nuevo. Eh, vamos. El día de mañana, bueno, la, idea, la, la intención era hoy comenzar la segunda sección, no se pudo. De igual manera, mañana la vamos a cubrir en su totalidad. No es una sección complicada, de hecho, el punto gramatical más fuerte ahí es el imperative, pero el imperative es la estructura gramatical más fácil del inglés. Eh, no hay ninguna estructura gramatical más sencilla, ¿verdad?, que el imperative. Así que ahí lo van a ver. Es súper, súper fácil. Y lo vamos a ver el día de mañana. Igual, acuérdense que ustedes tienen ya que estar adelantando eh, en esas lecciones en la plataforma. Si bien no hemos llegado ahí, en cuestión de, digamos, eh, las lecciones que se dan por medio de estas clases, pues ustedes tienen que estar adelantando en ellas. Si es posible, terminen eso ya ahora, ¿verdad?, y el día de mañana nada más aclaramos cualquier duda que les haya quedado. Ok, por acá tenemos un par de entradas en el chat. Dice José Benjamín Gavidia, ¿y mañana descansamos o seguimos? Es día del teacher. Sí, es día del maestro, pero vamos a tener clases, lo siento. <risa> I'm sorry. Sí habrá clase, pero miren, véanlo así. Recuerden que nosotros... Eh, por parte de Insaforp tiene que cubrirse siempre un número de horas y un número de sesiones exacto. Si digamos de pronto un día no hay clase, entonces ese día se repone inevitablemente el viernes. Así que igual, o sea, mañana tenemos clase, pero el viernes descansaríamos, ¿verdad? Si hubiese asueto, entonces igual hay que reponerlo el viernes. No salimos, siempre hay, hay que reponer la clase. No salimos de lo, de lo mismo. Así que sí, mañana, mañana tenemos sesión. A menos que durante el transcurso del día en el grupo se indicara lo contrario. Pero tengo entendido que no sería así. Mañana clase normal, ¿verdad? Así que bueno, vamos ahí. Everybody, thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good, Good night. night. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Good night.